Hello friend, my name is Imran Ansari and today we'll be learning something about JavaScript linter tools. First of all, we should understand what is linter, what is linting, what is lint. The word lint comes from, where does the word lint comes from? The fibrous coat over the cotton seed, the cushion kind of material is called lint. And when we talk about linting in technical terms, Linting is the process of running a program that will analyze code for potential errors. What does this lint do? We'll be going through the following in the presentation and in the demo. What is JavaScript linter tools? Different type of available linter tools. We'll talk about JS lint and JS hint. Also, we'll talk about the usefulness and drawbacks of JS hint and lint, and when and then we'll have a small quick demo of the Visual Studio integration, where we integrate the JS hint and JS lint component with Visual Studio. Let's see what does lint do for us. It cleans our code. It checks our code. It increases the quality of the code and makes our code more readable and maintainable. It checks for all the common JavaScript mistakes which we do while writing it without actually running the code or without opening the web page. In short, this is a code analysis tool for JavaScript. Let's see what are the common mistakes we do while we write JavaScript. For example, we forget sometimes the missing semicolons. We forget sometimes to add semicolons. Sometimes we add multi semicolons. Sometimes we use curly braces without a need. Sometimes we forget to use curly braces. I'll come with an example where we forget to use the curly braces. Although our code will run, but still it is important to have curly braces after an if or within an if. Code that never runs that is called redundant code statements that don't do anything unused variable etc 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 so let's see so let's see what are the most widely used linter tools available so there are two different type of linter tools available one is js lint and the other one is js hint although if you talk about it, them both does almost pretty decent job of finding bugs but JS lint give is more strict. JS hint is a little bit lenient than JS lint. Although JS lint is the parent branch and JS hint is a fork out of it. So only difference what I found is the configuration part where we can configure JS hint to be more lenient while checking our JavaScript code. Let's have a practical demo to understand what is JS Lint, what is JS. We have already installed the Visual Studio plugin for JS Lint. So once you have installed it, it will always come under Tools, Menu Bar, JS Lint Options. So this is the interface for the JS Lint module. You can see these are the Visual Studio options. These options are common options. So this is an option where you can choose whether you want to run this module or not. If you disable it and say OK, then while running the code, it will properly build and it will not check for validation. If you enable it, then it will run properly. So now, before that, let's understand what are the different options here. Visual Studio options output as warnings. So I have chosen warning here. So whatever validation errors would be fired up or errors would occur when as a warning in the output in the error window, this tool can validate JavaScript in HTML files, CSS files and .js files. Although for this demo, I have checked JS files. The other option is cancel build on error. So if the JavaScript validation finds some error, it will cancel the build and it will not allow the user to move ahead. Other option is run JS lint on build. So the moment you hit build after writing the JavaScript, it will always run this module and check whether there are, valid whether there are validation errors or not. If you see, there is one more option similar to it which says run JS lint on save. 
so if you check this so the moment you say save on your project it will run the JS lint module let's come to this section which says ignore sections which which is having a header called ignore sections so if you want a particular section to not to be validated through JS lint or JS hint you can choose this option also this option is editable you can write whatever text you want here and accordingly you can make it work and if you want a particular line to be skipped by this build and write this line uh, next to that beside that particular line which will skip if you see below there are import and export options if you want to propagate a pr proper standard or practice of coding or with set of rules you can do a import or export accordingly for example if I want to distribute if I have selected few rules for JS lint or JS hint and if I want to distribute it to my team I will do an export here which will be saved as an XML file and my team members can go and import the files which will make the whole setting as mine let's see the JS lint options so if you see this is the main drop down which allows or which says the program which validation to work with or which validation to run for example JS lint we have JS lint old and we have JS hint so let's see in JS lint the main difference in JS lint you can see a limited number of options when you talk about JS lint old it was more and pretty old version of JS so let's start with JS lint old there are options but those are limited options if you see JS lint there are more options than JS lint old so they have made it little lenient than JS lint old and if you talk about JS hint which I was talking about it has many many configuration values which makes us more which makes this module more lenient although if you compare the wordings of these uh, uh, configuration values or configuration settings those will differ a little bit but although they are same like if you see we have an option which says disallow unused variables in JS hint but in JS lint we have this warn on unused variables we have this setting here so there are many settings which are almost same but with a different words now let's have a practical demo let's take this example for now let's see and try enabling our JS lint option and let's run it you can see we have gotten three errors two of them are expected curly braces bef uh, instead so alert so before alert there is an if statement here and after that there should be an alert uh, curly braces and then it should be alert although if you run this code it will certainly work first disable this option because it is not allowing the code to run it is stopping as it is failing so we have disabled the module JSLint module which makes it run so it says all is good if you see the code the code runs the code gives output as well so let's as per JS lint by the time enable this option and I think we'll be left with two errors one is uh, missing came in curly braces which is here we'll put the curly braces again in place will build again and if you see there is an error which says expected triple equals to equals to equals to equals to instead of double equals to so usually whenever we do a comparison in JavaScript we use double equals to but in JS lint there is one more thing which makes it more strict it does care about the type of the variable for example if the, the only difference if you, if you see the main difference between double equal to and triple equals to is double equals to does not care about type safety or about the type of the data although triple equal to is comparison of two same similar kind of data type and similar so let's start for example double equals to will pass this let's make it as a string and for time being let's switch it off 
and run it all is good that means it said that this one is equals to this one but if I go and I say make it triple equals to and if I'll run it it says all is bad that means it say it said that a triple equals to uh, a string one is not equal a is not equal to a string one so we conclude that triple equal to is what js lint and let's say this option equals to and we'll choose this tolerate double equal to or and not equal to so what this will do is this will tolerate allow us to build the tutorial now let's see the other example which I have taken let's first uncomment it and let's run this you see there is the first error value which says combine this with previous where statements that means it does not want vari variable declarations everywhere so what I'll do is I'll remove the variable Z from here and I'll create it here so, oops mistakes okay I'll run it again again it says move where declarations to top of the function which says remove this where declaration and make it at the top I'll again make it at the top move the invocation into parents that contain the function so we'll move this function and we'll make it inside the invocation function now it says unexpected plus plus that means it does not allow plus plus rather than we need to change it to plus equals to one so if you see to js lint options there is a one more option which says tolerate plus plus or minus minus if you do not want that we can select ok and now if we run it will be fine and it will not give error but let's solve this error and proceed ahead and we have successfully validated now let's have a small look at what are the different options available if you see we have tolerate anonymous white spaces tolerate plus plus minus minus tolerate uh, assume as a browser assume node.js assume rhino so there are many libraries where you have you know in libraries you cannot do most of the changes so your js val lint validation will fail that's why it is like assume node.js so whenever node.js files comes across it will not validate th through it and it will say that it is fine if you go in js hint there is an option which says assume jquery here it is so this option if you select this then jquery code jquery library code will not be validated and even if it is then it will not give an error if you see go to JSLint, there is an option called one on unused variables what kind of space white space indentation is fine maximum line length of a particular line so these are the options in JS hint you have you can specify what kind of quotation marks you want to use you want to use a single quotation marks throughout the JavaScript or you want a double quotation marks throughout the JavaScript or you want you don't bother about it so you off it so you can also reset clear and you can use all the functionality which makes it much more lenient and but the more lenient you go the more vulnerability or the more bugs can be introduced into your system so choose choose very precisely the only those options which you think are not important so when you do a js lint validation not you don't need to uh, correct each and every error which it throws that's why we have JS hint where we can allow and we can get more meaningful errors we can allow configurations we can allow different things we can disallow things and you know we can make it more 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 and more meaningful to solve so 
last but not the least I will show one more options if you have many JavaScript files and if you feel like you do not want to use that particular file to be validated you do not want the particular file to be validated you can right click on it and you can say skip on build item so next time whenever the there would be a build it would be skipped want the validation to again happen on that file again click on it and say skip it on build so now if you see again the description of JSLint uh, it's a parent branch by Douglas Crockford there is a website called JSLint.com it has a github repository with the following URL there are many tools available to integrate JSLint on, on within which we have Visual Studio 2010 plugin we have Visual Studio 2012 plugin and also a notepad plus plus plugin so again there is a small note no need to solve all the warning this tool gives because not every warning is meaningful this is a this is a small snapshot of the options available in JS lint moving to the next JS hint it's a fork out of JS lint by Anton and the same kind of concept but with a leniency the website jshint.com github repository visual studio plugins for 2010 and 2012 and also this tool gives limited warning and error message which are more meaningful and hence we need to solve all those a similar kind of snapshot of the available options in JS hint a quick summary JS lint JS hint creator Douglas Crockford Anton level very strict which is JS lint and JS hint is lenient when we talk about branch, the JSLint is the parent branch, JSHint is a fork out of JSLint. Warning and errors. No need to solve all the warning it gives because it is more strict. And JSHint, this gives limited warning and meaningful warning. Configuration wise, JSLint has less configurations and JSHint is pretty much more configurable. The website available for JSLint and JSHint is JSLint.com and JSHint.com question arises in our mind is is automation JavaScript is automating JavaScript build possible so the answer is yes there are many implementation available using a Rhino engine partial scripts and node.js all for today friends and thank you very much for watching this video and please do share your positive and negative feedback that really encourages me improve and uh, hope this video helps you help you Thank you. Please do subscribe to my channel.